Hello Aquarius, welcome to your October 1st through 15th, 2019 reading. This is a collective reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. When you go to book a reading, if you look in my new options, you have to click the button book a reading. It's not on the website yet, but it is in the actual services. You will see that I am now offering a one-hour tutorial. If you'd like a private tutorial, it is not a group tutorial. Uh, I will be able to assist you at the level you're at and uh, help to either uh, give you some information that you don't have or help you refresh whatever it is you need we'll we'll customize it directly to what you're after and I've put in the 2020 annual readings those are ready now and you can schedule so without any further ado we'll move forward thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone all Aquarius Sun Moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for your divine guidance as always your energy is welcome here and very appreciated thank you so much divine Ooh, we're going to start it off nice Aquarius with your high priestess two of cups four of cups and four of pentacles in relationship love life and spiritual life we have the five of swords the page of wands and the two of pentacles in career and finance we have the page I mean sorry the knight of pentacles the two of wands and the devil we have the ace of pentacles in your underlying energy so we have another set of cards so everybody don't freak out over here this is a good thing though something coming in ace of pentacles very strong energy of the giving of a foundation by the universe so this is an, a really strong energy regarding abundance because it's giving you the foundation and the stability to build upon it it also means financial restoration now we have the high priestess this is divine light this is being in the flow this is connecting to higher source this is engaging in the visualization of your next beautiful achievement now when you're in this flow there's not a place for resistance we have to be able to fully forego all negative thinking and allow the universe to manifest being in the flow is very important if you're trying to bring in new energy we have the two of cups which means soulmate or divine union and if it's not if you are not in a relationship this is talking about having this energy of higher source connection so this would be your soul staring back at you being in one mind and allowing yourself to uh, receive the information guidance here so that's what that high priestess energy is also so being in a place of being quote unquote plugged in so we have the four of cups here this is an offer from divine that doesn't look exactly like you thought it would and you're considering if it's even for you well in my experience <laughs> the universe doesn't doesn't walk away from from when it's trying to give you something even if you do so don't don't fret if you don't ex don't accept it the universe will find another way to bring it to you so four of pentacles four of pentacles means money in hand money in the bank stable and secure finances so who doesn't want some of that we'll take that all day long now relationship love life and spiritual life you've got don't jump the gun here five of swords don't cut your nose off to spite your face it may seem like you've you've got a victory at hand uh here but allow it to fully go through uh what's happening because um, there may be a timing issue i'm feeling like that's what they're telling me is a timing issue it doesn't mean it won't happen it just means your timing and the timing that in life is is there may be a little hitch in the timing that's all i can that's all they're giving me so a uh, page of wands is the messenger coming in to help you deal with that uh, giving you whatever information it is that you need to know and the two of pentacles which is uh, 
keeping everything in balance. So stay in your stay focused and and don't let the timing throw you. Just don't jump ahead of yourself. Allow everything to come in and secure. Sometimes we want to we're so excited for something, we're so excited we want to jump ahead and start doing things. Well, that can be all for nothing if you if you do it and then something changes. So please just give it give it time for it to to secure itself before you start doing it. Don't try to anticipate. So and I know we do that a lot. I like to do that because I like to start whatever it is, the new thing. But you don't want to have to do it twice either. Knight of Pentacles is the finances being sent to you. This is the courier of the universe bringing you the money. Two of Wands. Having a choice. Now, we always get in a kind of a trap, the mental trap of one must be wrong. When i got to make the right choice because I've got two choices. And if I don't make the right one, then it, it's not going to be good for me. Well, understand that when the universe offers you a choice, it doesn't care. It's like somebody offering you coffee or tea. They're not going to be offended. They're offering what your preference is. The universe is giving you a preference. And you don't have to be worried that you're going to miss your blessing by choosing one over the other. Or that you'll be punished or that you're off track. This is not an intervention of a path. This is the path going maturing in two different directions and you can take either one i promise you the universe knows where you live you won't have to worry about being forgotten or left out we have the devil card here which is the major arcana for capricorn and this means this is capricorn energy the major arcana sign for capricorn it can also mean um, codependency it can also mean um, old negative habits or addictions. Sometimes we're addicted to negative thinking. Sometimes we're addicted to self-doubt or fear behavior. Uh, you have the opportunity to change this. So, uh, and this can also be the current employer energy. So someone who's very repressive and uh, stifling energy or very toxic energy. So you have the choice to move away from this. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome your energy here. Thank you so much, divine. Oh, nice. Chariot. Look at that. Document. The High Priestess a second time in the same section. Oh, I flipped your whole little thing over. Dun, dun, dun. My fancy uh, technical stuff up here. <laughs> and the Emperor himself. So, very secure. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Cups, Change, Change, and the Page of Cups. The Wonderful Lovers, for so that's the uh, nurturing energy of self. Yeah, this looks like you're getting rid of the toxic energy for your own good. Eight of Pentacles, allowing yourself to move forward and learn something different. King of Cups, very strong energy for a heartfelt offer or heartfelt energy, okay? So it can be a job offer. It looks like it's going in that direction with this reading. I don't see a whole bunch of stuff regarding uh, love life other than a couple of cards that are out here, but certainly these energies are talking about a lot of change happening. So now when we first get into a relationship, it feels like sometimes the doors have come off because it's a lot to adjust to another person's energy and uh, habits and how you react to different things. So it is it is a big change. There are things that happen when we first start to get around another person. We have to augment our own behavior. So, High Priestess with the chariot. So definitely go with the flow because it's going to be rewarded. This this uh, chariot energy is a victory and it means an upgrade. So whatever you're doing in life here to uh, work work your your law of attraction and working your what you're attracting into your life, it's absolutely working. So it's very fast moving as well. So here we have, if you stay in the flow, 
it draws it right in. So you guys are lining up for it. The Two of Cups means soulmate energy, divine connection, divine union. You see its source. Now, if it's not about a relationship for some of you, it's actually about seeing eye to eye with someone uh, or with self. Okay. Uh, it can be a, a, a work, you know, like a, a, a being in, in um, a partnership with someone, a company. And then you have the ability also to be in partnership with self and allowing higher source to guide you. Um, we have the document here. So this is a legal document, a contract of some sort. It can be a marriage license. Uh, somebody might actually be in that, in that mode. Uh, it is a legal document, though. So it could be a work thing or well, you never know. It could be a house. It could be anything, any kind of legal document. So four of cups, you're being offered something that you're not too sure it's for you. It's absolutely for you. The high priestess is here saying it's absolutely for you. <laughs> it's absolutely for you. So don't let yourself talk yourself out of your own blessing. Okay. Remember universe doesn't take no for an answer anyway. Believe me, I ran from my blessing enough that you would have thought it would have given up long ago. And uh, you can turn your face away from divine, but divine never turns its face away from you. That's kind of what that card always reminds me of. Divine is always there to meet your gaze. So, four of pentacles, very strong energy of financial solidarity, okay? And the universe, the, the emperor here, the universe is all about divine uh, information, the spiritual energy here, the spiritual information providing the orb. And then we have the Ankh, which is the, the uh, sign for eternal life. Now, so you're, you have the guidance. It is truly divine guidance. All of these cards here are fabulous. you got two high priestess, the four of cups, the two of cups, the four of pentacles, a document, the universe, and the chariot. So, you're not doing too shabby, Aquarius. So, the five of swords is telling you don't jump the gun. It's also, you got three fives here. That's pretty amazing. So you got the five of swords, the five of pentacles, and the five of cups. Five of swords is saying don't cut your nose off to spite your face. Wait a minute. It is coming through even though you want to jump the gun and go, but Emma, I feel like nothing's happening. I need to make something happen. It's right there behind your head. You just don't see it. Okay, you got to let it manifest. Here comes some word saying what's going on. So he's usually a call to action. And sometimes he's about work because he is the rods and the rods mean work or action. Five of cups. Don't dwell when it's time to move forward and you've been told, hey, this this option may be no longer available. But look at what's coming up here. You've got the the. Um, castle in the background and two new cups full so don't worry about what was or what could have was or you know what might have been let it go move forward new things are on the horizon <laughs> my mouth didn't want to work right new things are on the horizon so two of pentacles with the page of cups we have Keep your balance, keep your focus, and the universe providing. This is the universe trying to give you whatever sustenance and abundance it can. So that's offering you the cup with the fish. Now, and that can also be someone offering stability to you. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles, the money being dispatched. The lovers, very um, nurturing energy to sell as a you know higher self to self, or uh, at the place where you will be employed. It's a very nurturing energy, very harmonious. Then we have, and it may be someone working together with their own with their own mate. Uh, the two of two of uh, rods here means having the place to observe and make a choice. And when you do. You remove this negativity, and I think it's tied to that. So it's choosing to walk away from the toxic energy. It's not healthy for you anyway. And that devil card is letting go of fear, doubt, shame, uh, anything that's being imposed on you by someone else, and moving into something new and allowing yourself to focus on something completely different and learning something while you go that makes you actually more valuable or maybe more valuable to you to learn. 
So, many blessings to you, Aquarius. I hope you have a wonderful first half of October. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget we have the weeklies. We have the daily affirmations. We have the daily mystic, which is a membership button below. It says join. Um, and we have the um, wonderful 2020 readings that are about to come out. So don't forget to watch for those. Many blessings to you all. Love, light, and prosperity. Namaste.